His images were put up across Beirut's southern suburbs. Qasem Soleimani is being mourned in Hezbollah's stronghold. For the Iranian-backed group and its mainly Shia supporters, the late head of the elite Quds Force, the Revolutionary Guard's external wing, was their commander. The public face, symbol, and architect of the Islamic Republic's influence across the region was killed in a U.S. drone strike in Baghdad on Friday. Since then, Iran and its regional allies have been promising revenge. I'll be clear. The response is to target the American military presence in the region, the American military bases, their vessels, every American officer and soldier in our region, in our countries, on our soul. Nasrallah said Soleimani was not only Iran's concern, but the entire so-called axis of resistance, a term used to refer to groups in Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Yemen, and the Palestinian territories. He said it was up to those groups to decide if and how they would retaliate. But the Hezbollah leader hinted Lebanon will not necessarily be an arena. Lebanon is not a front line of America's and Iran's rivalry. There is a U.S. embassy and a few soldiers who train the army, but Hezbollah has a presence in the region and it can take part in any retaliation outside the country. It now seems clear what the retaliation may involve. Iranian military commanders made the same threat. And Iran's allies in Iraq have already singled out U.S. bases as targets. Ending the U.S. presence in the region is, in Nasrallah's words, fair punishment. Nasrallah has repeatedly threatened regional war if Iran is attacked by the United States. Iran will not stand alone, is what he's promised. It is an expected statement of support from an ally which has grown into a regional force. Photos are emerging of Nasrallah with Soleimani, who the Hezbollah leader called a brother. He confirmed the late military commander was in Lebanon before heading to Baghdad via Damascus. While Hezbollah doesn't hide its links with Iran, it is the strongest political player in Lebanon. It's careful to protect that power at a time of increasing pressures. Uh, the condition for uh, successful uh, retaliation are not there because of the economic uh, situation, because Lebanon cannot sustain whatsoever uh, a war uh, likable to 2006. Nasrallah called Soleimani's assassination a turning point and a new phase. The message here may be one of defiance, but in reality, the U.S. maximum pressure campaign on Iran and its allies seems to be already in a new phase. Zana Khudr Al-Shazira, Beirut.